friends welcome back to my channel again this is your girl inga here and this is where i do diys business beauty and lifestyle you can go ahead and follow me on my instagram platforms and if you're new here you can just go ahead and smash the subscribe button we love to have you a part of this queen's nation so i also wanted to show you guys quickly the versatile bases that i have in these are one pound bags and yeah these are available for immediate shipping so you go you guys can go and check them out also i will have the websites linked below one more thing these versa gels are mineral oil free they do not have the mineral oil in them so it's the versa gel emmy premium used by tkb um yes without the mineral oil so basically these are the little mini measuring cups here that I use and if you are an oldie but goodie you would know where these cups um, are purchased from. So let me know in the comments below if you know where I got these cups from or you'll have to go and watch some of my older videos. So you can measure these in grams or ounces um i did them in ounces but if you're doing them in grams you can go and calculate or you can go and google it and you'll see the calculations of the measurements in grams so this is how it's gonna go down i have everything laid out right here and these are the spoons they are about a teaspoon each and this is the versa gel that i have already two ounces of it in that little measuring cup these are the different oils and emollients as you know i love my grapeseed oil fractionated coconut oil but this right here is my newest found product and i am so in love with this and the name of this product is octyl dodecanol i think i got it right yeah this is an emollient like how you use the hydronated polyisoba thing this is um something like that if you want an in-depth um video on this i will be happy to do one on it and to um demonstrate the uses and the benefits of it so let me know in the comments below please so here i have my electric burner and i'm just gonna heat up my versa gel um for a quick second or two with this um electric burner i know this is the first time that you have seen me heating the versa gel but i think that this is a much easier process especially for those that do not have a mixer when you do this you would find that the versa gel is much more um loose it's not as stiff as it is and the oils um adhere better in or I should say the oils dissolve better into the Versa Gel. I would definitely recommend you doing this, but you don't need to use this burner. This is my decision because I didn't want to put it in the microwave, but I think the usage on the Versa Gel when you purchase it from certain places, they said that you can heat this up in the microwave for about 20 seconds in a microwavable safe container or glass. So I'm just going to stir it a little bit until most of the stiffness is out of it. So right now I think I have it at the consistency that I would want it to be at. There it is. So this is two ounces of Versa Gel. So these are the oils that I'm using and I'm going to be using a half ounce each of the oils. It's vitamin E, grapeseed oil, and fractionated coconut oil. I'll have everything listed for you guys to grab a hold of the um, ingredients. I'm just going to go ahead and stir it around and as you can see the Versa Gel is quite smooth and in the consistency that it's not that stiff 
it's still a bit warm but it's cooling as we go along and this is like the perfect consistency that you would want for your Versagel um, base mixture. So as you can see, it's a very light to moderate mixing and you don't have to be doing all of that vigorous um, mixing and it's coming together as planned very well. So I'm just going to um, rest it here and apply the emollients to this mixture. Okay, so I'm using a teaspoon of the octal didocanol. And then I will be using a teaspoon also of the hydronated polyisoprene. But what you can do with this is you can eyeball this. But you wouldn't want to go too much over the usage amount. So we're going to do some stirring and then we're going to add our pigments and our lip liquid colorants. So I'm using mica instead of pigments and these are my scoops and my spatula. I got these from TKB and these are perfect for scooping out of your pigments or micas. This is a pink mica that I have here. Micas give the lip gloss a lasting color unlike pigments. So you can use as much of this as you would want to according to your desired color. If you're doing a lighter color or a darker color. So the lip pigments, the colorants rather, the liquid ones that I'm spouting right here, you can do like 10 to 20 drops of this. But if you're doing a light, very, very light color, you can go like under 10. So the usage of the pigments and the colorants, I think is totally up to you. So watch carefully um, as I continue to stir this that you will see that the mixture is not that light. It's not like a nudish type mixture. Um, but as I go along, I will be showing you how you can make this mixture a little darker for it to show up like how some people would like for it to show on their lips. So, so I do get that question a lot is what causes the lip gloss or the lipstick to show on your lips? You have to use micas and you will get them to show. That's the secret to that. So I'm adding a bit more of the mica and you will see what I was talking about earlier, how um, it will show on your lips because it's going to get a little deeper or darker right here. So as you do know, I add white lip colorant to my mixtures to get it a bit creamier. So that's what I'm going to do right here. And it's less than a teaspoon, as you can see. So this is a no-brainer. If you were to use um, or to be mixing a large amount, then you would double each of the ingredients that you would be using. So as you continue to mix the mixture, you will notice that it will be getting smoother and more creamier and thicker. So you can go ahead and add your flavoring oils. Um, just use a few drops of it. You can use a pipette to do this also. There you have it, a very smooth and creamy like texture. And these ingredients, or I should say with these ingredients, you cannot go wrong with your lip gloss mixture or your base mixture. There should be no separation, no um, separation of the oil and the pigments or the micas or whatever you have. Just follow this formula and all will be well. So right here, I have my peach lip colorant from my nude collection. I just wanted to shout that out to y'all and you guys also know that I do have flavoring oils also which is out of stock right now will be restocked soon 
but all of these you can go and check out at my shops so we have come to the end of this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was very well informative for you guys so don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification and i will see you in my next video